Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Wanda from the Rios Family Garden today. I just wanted to tell you something about these bananas. You can go from this banana and this banana, because what happens is they grow these baby pups, which is one right here, as you can see. That's a little baby. And then once they get a little bit bigger, you can actually dig them up. And this is what I did. Dug some up. I put three over here. There's compost under there and a whole bunch of food scraps. I also moved my um, grapefruit tree over here. I had to prune it back really badly because it had leaf miner on the leaves. I'll show you guys what that is. Moved some jalapenos over here and of course a rosemary bush. But there was three banana pups right there I moved. Just from that one plant I showed you over there. I put another one right there. And also another one right here in my little tropical mailbox garden there. Pineapples coming along. Put some other stuff over there too. But this is what I wanted to show you. Where I put the other banana pup. I put it right over here in the corner right there and all those food scraps I'm gonna have to cover that up with some compost I planted a little elephant ear right there as well but yeah so those banana trees once they get bigger you can dig them up and just plant them around your garden or your property and what will happen in the winter time sometimes they die down but they're just gonna grow right back from the corn and then you'll have banana trees everywhere and those those style banana trees is called the um, dwarf Cavendish this is my loquat tree I got some lemongrass in there and this longevity spinach this is good for um, diabetes and this tree here I wanted to tell you guys too about this something called leaf miner if you can see here this is what it looks like it's pretty hot today so I think I'm gonna wait until later on to come out here I am going to have to take all of these leaves off one by one put them in a bucket and go put them in the burn barrel Ooh, I almost fell you don't want to you don't want to um, put these in any compost because it will damage it. And these leaf miners here, they want to suck the leaves, the sap out of the leaves. And then what will happen is they will mess your tree up. And this, this is the Moro blood orange tree. But you see that? It's these little tiny bugs. Let me see if I can get a better picture there. Yeah. And they go into the leaves and then they go around and start messing up your leaves here on the kumquat tree as you can see I got some over here too so what I'm definitely gonna have to do is go ahead and prune this tree like I did that tree over there and then um, get all of these leaf miner leaves off there's another banana pup that I moved from over there as well, here with some alocasias. So I just wanted to let, give you guys an update on those banana trees, what you can do with them. And also just a quick tip on these leaf miners. You don't want these on your, your trees, okay? Because it will damage your tree. And look at, if you notice, once you get the leaf miner, your leaves curl up like that. So that's how you know or you could just look underneath and you can actually like I showed you here you can actually see that well again this is Wanda with the Rios family garden guys my lime tree is looking pretty good we got lots of little limes on there pretty excited about that my peanuts are coming up they're looking pretty good there the peanuts and I just got some random peppers 
over here those sweet potato leaves I'm um, gonna be putting up a new raised bed over there in the front and then I'm gonna put the sweet potato leaves in here this whole bucket here was full of these aloe veras and they also make little baby pups so what I did was move some over here over there and that's some lemongrass but I hope you guys have a great day today and uh, you know take a look at your leaves and remember if you got those banana trees just dig those pups up guys you'll be able to propagate more banana trees as they just grow on their self and they get rid of these leaf miner leaves burn them throw them in the garbage but whatever you do do not put them in your compost Signing off here, Juana Rios, Rios Family Garden. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe and share. I do appreciate it. It helps me out. I'm still very new to the YouTube game here. Just trying to show a little bit about what I do. You guys take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.